I've been trying to figure out something very fascinating happening with Nintendo because look, there's a bunch of headlines flying around about Nintendo, including this one here, where you see that Amazon is canceling pre-orders for Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, Endless Ocean Luminous, and Luigi's Mansion 2. Now, that's fascinating on the surface. And look, we can scroll down here and see that this is just pretty standard fare. This happens all the time. It seems to be happening to any pre-order, whether it happened if you pre-ordered right when it went live or when it didn't. Okay, cool. Uh, kind of sucks. Don't know what's going on here with Nintendo. Uh, they should be doing better, right? Like, th this is just something that doesn't seem acceptable. But that's not the story here, even though that's going to make headlines. I'm bringing it up for context because that story is why I dug deeper into something and I noticed something through another website. Now, this website is one we have brought up on the channel, although it's been a while, in Deku Deals. Now, Deku Deals is an excellent website that you can go to to find all the latest sales on Nintendo games, whether digitally or physically and look it doesn't have every single game there is in fact i think there's roughly 120 games or so listed but you can browse them and figure out where you can get the best deals and yes we're going to be talking about some sales here but it's what the sales are doing and who's implementing these sales that lead me to believe that nintendo is now reaching a point where they are about to officially price drop most of their major titles which is usually what signifies the end of a generation for nintendo and we've been looking for signs we've been looking for uh you know you know indications anyways that nintendo might be preparing to move on might be preparing to announce a new system this is maybe the biggest indication we've had yet let's go take a look at what's going on over at deku deals we're seeing a number of games here and look there's a lot of sales here right now all of these sales are relevant we're focusing specifically on these first party games that are listed at 39.99 you're seeing kirby and the forgotten land super mario odyssey mario kart 8 deluxe breath of the wild donkey kong tropical freeze new super mario Bros. u deluxe uh, you're seeing Splatoon 3, new Pokemon Snap down there as well. And as we scroll over, you also see Link's Awakening has been dropped down there. So has Skyward Sword HD. The rest of these are kind of standard fare. Super Mario Maker 2 being tossed in this mix as well. All those $39.99 games. The rest of these sales are just typical retailers knocking a few bucks off here and there. They do that for competitive reasons and to clear stock. But you might be going, well, okay, then how do we not know that all these $39.99 price drops are not just simply related to, well, Nintendo wanting to clear out stock or these certain retailers wanting to clear out stock? Well, let's take a look here. Let's click on Kirby in the Forgotten Land. And we'll see that this is being posted by Amazon and then Walmart, Walmart who's probably price matching Amazon. Now what's fascinating about this, and I'm not gonna click on this because it will show my address because I am logged into Amazon, but I already did it and I'll show a screenshot for you guys so you can see it, that this is a listing by Nintendo themselves. So Nintendo is fulfilling the purchases of Kirby and the Forgotten Land and all of these Amazon games that are down to $39.99. So these sales aren't Amazon dropping the price, it's Nintendo dropping the price. That's something to note. They did announce, by the way, some sort of sale going on. Now, it's notable though, my Nintendo store, which is Nintendo's website, still lists the physical and digital at $59.99, and these aren't digital sales. They're physical sales, but you'll see the same thing happening with Super Mario Odyssey. You'll see it drop down to $39.99. You can see a used copy for $34. Same with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, etc., etc. Now, how you know that there is a difference here? Because sales drops that happen from third-party vendors are the one-offs, right? So if you go in here, and maybe Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, see this is a third party vendor in walmart you notice that amazon is not even listed as having a physical copy available let alone the fact that everywhere else is 59.99 this is just walmart deciding to knock a little money off this has nothing to do with nintendo because Wal because well nintendo provides the games to walmart walmart ultimately decides what to sell them for so walmart's chopping the price down 15 percent whereas all these amazon listings are fulfilled by nintendo themselves so breath of the wild down to 39.99 not an uncommon price point don't on tropical freeze down there new deluxe down there splatoon 3 down there i uh, go here to link's awakening this is a walmart only one so this is one where my whole concept here doesn't apply because it's walmart and best buy deciding to knock some money off not directly provided by nintendo let's see if that's true with Skyward. that's same is true here with skyward sword hd you see amazon's even out of stock of it how about mario maker 2 
Amazon's also out of stock of it. So we could be seeing some clearing of stock out. Some of these games, by the way, have been rumored that Nintendo might have been pulling stock anyway. Splatoon 2, as an example, is one of those games that Nintendo supposedly isn't even providing physical copies for. So when you see a sale like this, maybe Walmart's just trying to clear out stock. Um, so there you go. Who knows? Uh, but what we do know is Kirby in the Forgotten Land, Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, this whole top row here is all related to Amazon. Now, again, you might think I'm maybe reaching a little bit and I can understand that concept, but these sales are one, 30% off plus on physical copies of games and two, from Nintendo themselves, from Nintendo going out there and through their selling on Amazon because they control their sale page on Amazon telling you that, hey, we are knocking the price down here on Amazon and Look, a lot of other retails will just price match Amazon anyways. So what is going on here? Well, Nintendo Switch is obviously in its eighth year. I don't know how many times we've even said that out loud, but as of March 3rd, 2024, Nintendo began their eighth year of existence with Nintendo Switch. And that is insane. If you think about it from 2017 all the way to 2024, they've already completed. If you want to look at it in terms of times around the sun, the Switch has circled the sun seven times since it came out. Now we're in the middle of the eighth cycle. And what's crazy about that is all the rumors that have been swirling out there about Nintendo Switch 2. And we're not about to revisit a bunch of those rumors because look, there hasn't been anything happening. And we're obviously all patiently waiting for hopefully a Nintendo Direct or an Indie World or just even massive marketing for Thousand Year Door would be nice. Just getting a random 30 second commercial is cool, but can we get some actual like news? Is there new content? Can you confirm or deny that? Uh, are there other quality of life improvements? Can you confirm or deny that? I don't know. How about Endless Ocean Luminous? We did get some information on the official website and a nice gameplay trailer, but we need more. Like, can we get dive deeper into the online mode and see some stuff behind that? And maybe we will get some more. Again, we're pretty early in April. There still could be a Nintendo Direct this month, although I don't know how likely that is. We'll have to wait and see. But what I find fascinating about Nintendo dropping these prices is they didn't announce them. They didn't advertise them as sales. They're just doing it. And there's a couple reasons to do it, but both reasons lead to Nintendo being ready to move on. Reason number one is the games aren't selling very well. That's entirely possible. Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is in the top 10 all the time, so hard to believe that that would be not a best-selling game. Uh, Breath of the Wild, Tropical Freeze, and U Deluxe. All those games can literally just be not selling very well. And in context of not selling very well, possibly Nintendo just wants to clear out stock because they have too many copies, right? That's entirely possible. The other possibility is that Nintendo is preparing for the Switch 2 announcement and will be price dropping a vast majority of their current first party games in response to keep sales at a steady pace while we wait for the system to come out. Now again, I know that's not the same as price dropping the console and we all would like to see Nintendo do that regardless if Switch 2 gets announced or not. But in the end, Nintendo doesn't lower the price of their games. They just don't do it very often. They run sales around the holidays, official sales and all this. To do it now, to lower so many first party games now by 33%, really tells you that Nintendo is either A, not selling very many of these games anymore, or B, preparing for a new system announcement where these prices will start to be applied across the board so we'll have to wait and see obviously what this leads to there doesn't seem to be an expiration on these sales it's not like oh these sales are only lasting for the next week gotta buy now this just seems to be a price drop to price drop from nintendo of america and it seems like we're seeing similar price drops when i checked other amazons in other countries they also seem to be getting price drops on a lot of first party nintendo games and again these games are being provided directly by nintendo and the store page is being managed directly by nintendo so to me this is a pretty big sign that nintendo is preparing for an announcement and or to move on from the current platform they didn't re-release these games in a nintendo select line i know we talked about how nintendo possibly could be going back to nintendo selects when we saw a bunch of games going out of stock and not getting restocked and it doesn't at least so far appear nintendo's going that route but they still look like they might be going the route of decreasing prices anyways 
not quite as low as Nintendo Selects. Remember, Nintendo Selects were like 20 bucks. Uh, I guess Nintendo maybe thinks 20 bucks is, is, is a little too low in today's economy. $40 might be the new way. And so why release a select line when we can just price cut? I don't know. We'll have to pay more attention to this and see if more and more first party games start to be discounted in this way by Nintendo directly. And also for all you guys that missed out on the pre-orders or have your pre-orders refunded by Amazon for Endless Ocean Luminous, uh, was it a thousand year door and Luigi's Mansion 2 HD that really sucks I hope you're able to find a copy at another retailer I know personally if I'm gonna pick up any of those physical copies I'm gonna try to go to the midnight launch at my local Walmart which seems to always have physical copies on hand beyond pre-orders and so if I decide I want a physical copy that's probably how I'll go get one but I've also admittedly been kind of going into this whole digital mindset and that could be maybe what Nintendo is trying to do as well clear out all the physical stock to force people to buy digital only clear off shelf space and then what are you clearing off shelf space for if not a potential new system and again i'm not saying it's coming out in 2024 and i'm not saying nintendo's going to stop you know stocking mario kart 8 deluxe they're not going to stop that what i'm just pointing out is that nintendo seems to be preparing to try to maintain sales while something else is going on what that something else is, we'll have to wait and see. I want to thank you guys so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. Let me know if you think I'm just crazy and out there and out of my mind, or if you think I'm onto something. I'll catch you in the next video.